So when we manage fruit fly, we manage it under a national set of protocols that describe how quarantine should be handled. And one of the things that it describes is how long quarantine should last. And it's all based on how much time has elapsed since the last fly or larvae were detected. And um, that's based on how long it takes for a fruit fly life cycle to be completed. In the really warm months, fruit fly can speed up their life cycle, complete an entire life cycle in less than a month. And so quarantine doesn't last quite so long. But there's a critical time every year where if we find a fly, and when it's leading into the cooler weather, that those flies can actually overwinter. And a single fly can live right through the winter and re-emerge in the spring to lay more eggs. And so when we pass by a certain date, and it's in February for um, metropolitan Adelaide, it means that the outbreak has to last until the following spring and summer to make sure we've got that fly and any progeny, any, any um, eggs that it might have laid. So when we're managing fruit fly outbreaks, there's a set of national protocols that tell us how we should do it. And one of those things that it uh, tells us in the national protocols is when an outbreak should be declared. And it's all based on trying to determine if we've got a locally breeding population or not. There'll be times when we do find fruit fly maggots in imported consignments of fruit from interstate. That doesn't mean we've got an outbreak, it just means we need to pull that fruit back in before it causes a problem. When it comes to declaring an outbreak, it's things like if we find larvae in someone's backyard, that means there's a locally breeding population that's really contained that we can still eradicate. But also we have 7,500 fruit fly traps around the state and we monitor them all the time. If we find a pregnant female in one of those or a threshold number of male flies, it means again that we've got a problem and that's what determines if we've got an outbreak. So managing fruit movement is a really important means of eradicating fruit fly. By stopping fruit from moving, we can stop fruit fly from spreading. So please, if you're in a red zone, don't move fruit around. Fruit around. Take it home, consume it, but don't move it. Don't move from red to yellow because that will be increasing risk. And don't move from yellow to green because green is where we don't have any fruit fly at all.